Welcome to the channel everybody, my name is Ryan and we're back with more RimWorld today, continuing our Super 6 playthrough, this is episode 12, and if you need to get caught up, you're just tuning in, I've got a link to the playlist for this series down in the description, along with all my other RimWorld stuff, but you can see the colony is just waking up, it's uh, been a tough run so far, but we've overcome basically everything Randy has thrown at us. Now our six soldiers are each one sterilized and backed up with cortical stacks, so there's not going to be any recruiting, no children to raise, it is just these six colonists. But with the right technology, we should be able to make them basically immortal, as long as we can get enough clones grown in time before anybody dies. But um, with that said, we're also currently working on advanced nuclear power. We got a couple of stages just to go through first but then once that kicks in guys i tell you what we are on the cusp of some serious technological breakthroughs including some weird animal genetics we're going to get into with our elephants and thrumbo and hopefully a bunch of other animals as well so anyway guys let's get things sped up get started on today's episode hit that like button for me guys and of course if you're new hit subscribe to the channel as well we do daily uploads here but anyway like i said it's time for the highest speed let's go well despite our mechanical help winters and aya still have to do a little bit of the gardening here of course winters is the guy we don't talk about very much he doesn't stand out like animal or gizmo does but he is of course the trigger happy quick sleeper sanguine and he is of course armed with a minigun at the moment being trigger happy that is something i've pointed out before but he is definitely a solid pawn uh one of the reasons i named the colony the super six is because these pawns are pretty standout characters you know as you'd expect from top-notch soldiers but we also have plans on tricking them out with all the bionics we can get our hands on so that's going to be a definite um place we go to with our research is the prosthetics tree which we barely scratch the surface of too and another thing is the brain in a jar once we get the that's why i made a nice big research room so gizmo and some of her other colonists her fellow soldiers can use some of the brains we've collected from raiders and i've got quite a collection in fact i've got some hotkeys yeah there we go so i can with the camera plus mod you can set hotkeys so you jump around to specific points we got the front line we want to take a look at the front oh we got production here and stockpile okay and the hospital with our nine different brains on a shelf it's always stumped me why the organs in rim world don't need to be refrigerated but you know what i don't ask questions i just i play with the organs and that's it Oh, poor Aya. Well, it does have to be a little bit frustrating to know that as you plant, the literal fruits of your labor are being eaten by an elephant, a giant elephant that will eat. But, hey, that's what we have this patch of fruit here for, specifically. Also, we're working on keeping this little patch going too i'm not gonna wall it off anymore but it might get burned once in a while we got plenty of robots to help us now though so it's not a big deal but check that out we just lucked out and got ourselves another third uh <laughs> herd of thrumbos but unfortunately our boy animal does not have a taming uh what's it called the taming inspiration we did get two if you missed it if you're just tuning in that is how we got our two current thrombos because animal happened to have a taming inspiration at the same time i heard wandered in so this is i think our third or fourth herd but you know i think we might just actually take these guys out as sad it is as it is we could try and tame them maybe we'll do that here's what we'll do we'll give it a couple of rounds of attempts but if he fails before they leave the map, we're going to put him in our freezer. Well, we just had a prosthesis trader show up, a prosthetics. Prosthesis, prosthetics, doesn't matter. But um, I was too tempted. I had to trade away some of the brains we've got. So they're very valuable, though. Almost 2,000 silver per brain. Go figure. But we're getting a little chunk of medicine out of this. You know what? Screw it. Let's grab some of that glitter world, too. And we're also getting one synthetic heart. I almost went with the idea of buying more because there's four. 
you know what? Screw it. Oh, look at that. Four. We can get more brains. We'll get more brains. Plus, I still got five, and I don't even have really the technology to build the brain in a jar yet. So I'm just sitting on them. Let's spend them. And those synthetic hearts are going to be awesome. Obviously, we're putting those into our pawns, and it came from one of these cool ships here, trade ship. Trade ship mod. So we'll get that taken inside. I'll queue up some operations and stuff. But first, let's witness Animal make the first attempt here at a thrumbo taming. I'm going to speed it up. He is 20. Oh, failed the first try. But he's got three more tries to go. So, of course, I'll let you guys know if he succeeds. Four patients, four synthetic hearts. I'm glad I grabbed that Glitter World Medicine. It is expensive and costly, but it should boost the success right here. So remember, too, if there is a failure, come on. Oh, thank God. They will explode upon death, and <laughs> they'll probably either kill or maim the doctor herself. So I have saved it, and this is going to be one of those rare instances if one of our people gets killed at this point in the middle of an operation, I'll probably do a little save scumming. But it is fun to see it happen. You know, it blows a big hole and stuff. Man, the explosions on death. I've mentioned them before. They're obviously problematic. It's part of the reason I included them. A little bit of challenge, but... Either way, I'm going to closely monitor this, and you know what? I should probably save it in between each operation, as a matter of fact. All right, there we go. The last heart has successfully been transplanted. So I chose these four colonists. Essentially, I left Animal out. He didn't get a synthetic card because I didn't want to interrupt his attempts with the Thrumbo. So one day he'll get one as well. But you know what? If we can actually... Yeah, okay, cool. Let's grab Animal. No, he has no social abilities. All right, Aya, if we can get to this trader before he takes off, we can trade him those four hearts away. Yeah, we definitely don't need them. Yeah, and of course now just sitting on my shelf like this, they're increasing the colony wealth. But if I trade them away for some more medicine, maybe another prosthetic, that'd be amazing. Okay, well, I think I'm just going to get rid of the four hearts and a little bit of synth thread I got laying around in exchange for their components and some of my silver back. I don't really see anything super interesting here. I mean, I could afford like an eyeball maybe, but that's not exciting. We can make those eventually ourselves, but it is fortunate to be able to double tap that trader like that. Don't worry, my little elephants. There will be no more animal starvation, for we now have a freezer full of thrumbos. Yeah, that's right. I couldn't wait any longer. We didn't tame any of them, but we, in a sense, we tamed them. You know, they're completely still and docile now, and completely frozen solid. Oh, unfortunately, one of our little talked about colonists, Axel, has just contracted fibrous mechanites. Uh, well, it's kind of a dual-edged sword here. He's got extra pain, but also extra manipulation, moving, blood pumping. Wow, this is actually a really good thing to have, isn't it? Now, it's uh, painful, but he'll get through it. Good old Axel. Let's check him out, of course. Iron-willed, industrious, nimble. That's why we don't hear too much out of him. Even though he is modeled after the Axel Rose, he's Axel Hurt but he's got a much more mild temperament than the singer does. Although I do love his music, that's this for sure. Oh no, we've gotten a transport pod crash and she is Silver's mother. Oh, that is super unfortunate for you, honey. And for you too, Silver, although he is our bloodlust. I don't know, he still might get upset if his mom dies. Yeah, that's probably likely. Oh, shoot. Well, let's see. She's an independent space refugee, too. So even if I captured her, I don't know if we can just release him. Oh, well. Let's see. He'll just have a little mood debuff for a while. Nothing to do but just let her linger. Of course, it would go against everything we stand for to try and recruit her. So we can't do it, folks. We can't have not even Silver's mother. I'm sorry, buddy. You'll get over it, though. We'll just have you butcher up some more of Raiders or something, and you'll be totally fine, I'm sure of it. Man, oh man, this is going to be the trading episode, no doubt about it. But 
This is a big one for sure. So we had a bulk goods trader um, over the intercom, but check it out. I noticed that we had tons of thrumbo for, of course, from killing the uh, thrumbos, but we've also got thrumbo wool from the thrumbo extended mod. So of course I've mentioned it in terms of the milking before, but this stuff is extremely valuable. So with both of those up there, yeah, look at that 503 of it for 15 each. That's even more than the thrombo for guys, so we're loaded. And I'm buying uh, a lot of stuff here. Medicine, plasteel, steel, beer, wood, gold, jade, marble blocks. I'm also thinking we'll go ahead and grab the neutronamine. Let's get their components. All right. And I already got a bunch of chem fuel, but you can never have too much. All right, that's almost an even trade right there. A few things I didn't pick up, but most of their good stuff. Damn, that was a big one. Watch out, Axel. Don't get your head knocked in, buddy. All right, I even got marble blocks. Hey, we've got an art station up and running, so if he gets inspired, at least we'll know he's not going to run out of marble. Whoa. Well, this is actually quite fortunate. Brandy just sent us some drop pods. 39 ursine genomes so ursine of course refers to bear if you're unfamiliar and the genome part is from the vanilla genetics expanded so he just set us up with some bear genomes oh yeah that could be really good we'll go ahead and refrigerate these now these do require refrigeration yeah 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 Says it right there, spoils in two days unrefrigerated. So we'll throw those in the freezer. I've also got a little ambrosia here, I just noticed. We'll get that set to harvest. But yeah, that's that's nice and fortunate. I might end up trading it away at some point. I don't know. I think we got some early in the run too. We're going to get into bionics and stuff before we do the animal genetics. But still, it's kind of cool to have it around. Guys, it's all hands on deck for this research right here. We are on the final technology for advanced nuclear power. Oh my gosh, I've got the room all dug out and ready to go. So we're prepared. Like I said, I've actually set the work order to no number one priority for all four of our research. Okay, where are you going, Aya? You're going to take a break for food? You know what? No, I don't think so. Get yourself over here. Everybody line up. All right, there we go. They all just pop some go juice. They're running around like crazy people now. I guess I'll let them have a little meal. They are going to get right back to it, though. There they go. Like I said, this is, I mean, it's technically a combat type situation here. We got to get this power situation under control. Because like I said, that is really the gateway to a lot of the different stuff that we can do. Because even things like the vanilla expanded genetics we've talked about, wherever that one's at, this requires several large buildings and structures. You got to keep the genetic specimens on ice and whatnot. Hey, we just got another trader. Boy, I tell you, oh, you know what? This one I actually requested. It's the uh, exotic goods one trading away those thrumbo horns we've got hopefully they got a weapon or something we can get but i tell you though having all these different allies is phenomenal for sure in fact looks like ooh, the wabu tribe might need a little topper off here they're down to 76 oh my god guys we are just moments away from completing the research check it out i've been sitting here just waiting we're almost to 9,000 points and i was thinking damn it's been a long time since randy hit us with anything look at that big gap but there is a new event here an enemy raid and i haven't even looked at it oh no it's the mech hive group of mechs prepare for wild nice I think that means our mortars get to take center stage here for the first time in a while. And we did pick up some EMPs too. Oh boy, this is huge. All right, this could be devastating. Let me go ahead and get everything set up and we'll take a look at the mechs. All right, here they are. Damn, that's larger than I had hoped for sure. What's the points on it? 3,000. 3,300 I saw for the raid points before I clicked it off. Whoo, man. Well, okay, they are preparing for a while. They've got some low shields. I don't think that these Centurion shields will stop mortars, but wow, they're actually, they know just where they want to go. Oh, what? I, uh, 
She's got a real problem with doing these. I think it's because she can't prioritize to rearm. Uh, it's unfortunate she's one of my best intellectuals, but Gizmo will have to do the trick. So, yeah, she's going to set up the EMP, but um, let's give them a little bit of time to get this changed up, and then we're going to take some shots. Okay, well, I don't know what is going on, but I am struggling to get Gizmo or anybody else to use this third mortar. It keeps just refusing, and it won't work for EMPs or... High explosive I don't know it's freaking bugged or something but we're gonna just have to do it with these two so let's go time to get it going I don't have much time left I've been messing with that back and forth now forever oh what 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 is going on I've literally dropped these things on the ground something is up with my dang mortars and it's not the sh the shells I don't know. I've got them all set properly. What the hell? High explosive shell. I am clueless. She literally just changed the barrel on this. Look at that. They cancel it after each. What? Oh, well, they're beginning their assault. We didn't get a single shot on them. Damn it. Well, well, well. Shoot. I gotta figure out what's going on with those mortars before the next time around, obviously. But um, let's flick the switch and get this raid underway. Okay, here we go. Turrets are all turned on. I've got some animals coming out. And I've actually sent some of our less important mechanoids out here, just hoping to use them as bait. I can see it's drawn the fire of some of the shooters here. That's good. Okay, yeah, get a little closer. Come on in. That's all right. We've got a bigger threat coming, no doubt about it. Now, I know one of our people has EMP grenades. I don't know who it is. This set, there it is. All right, this setup really isn't made for a mech throw like this. Or a grenade throw, I should say. I don't know if he can even go over. Oh, okay, we can. That's helpful, actually. Winters. Nice. Can you just start throwing that? Actually, why don't you reposition over here? All right, let's bring these guys up a little bit back. Come on, your bait. There we go. Look at that silver. Taking them out almost immediately. That was pretty impressive. All right, get closer, bud. Get closer. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Winters. Come on, you can do this. Now, let's go ahead and send some of the animals out. Well, hold on. We'll wait. Wait a little bit. They're definitely getting caught up on this turret right here, this fire turret, which is unfortunate too because it's going to be completely useless against mechs. <laughs> oh yeah, they're all stopping right there. <gasps> they're getting stunned though. Okay, this seems to be working. Let's move our people into harm's way. We've got some, actually, animal. You stay over here, buddy. We've got some shields. Maybe I should drop one. Let's see, hold on. I get a little closer. Ah, yeah. All right, and let me see what we got. Oh, insanity, shock. There it is. Let's do that. Beautiful. And give me a shock lance, too. Just take out one of these in turn. No. Oh, we got no range. You need to move up, bro. Get in there. Get in where it's dangerous. All right, here we go. Oh. Come on. Oh, this thing lags me out. There we go. All right, we're fine now. Look at these things. They're stunned, but they're still moving. It's ridiculous. <sighs> oh, the aggro hands died. Oh, thank God I thought a pawn died. <laughs> Not yet. Animals back up over there. All right. Sorry, I have to pause it so much. Let's go ahead and grab another shock lance. Yes, I uh, get him. Oh, lag. There we go. I, I don't know what that is. I think it's the aiming thing. She got him. Okay, good, good, good. Keep going with those things, Winters. What the hell's going on over here? Bro, you're stunned. You're not supposed to be moving. I do like how it still took down his shield, though, so that's good. Speaking of shields, ours just fell. Oh, okay, we got a new, we got a new target, folks. I right, don't get yourself killed, for the love of God. We made it this far. All right, has this one already been shocked, right? No, no. I think I just took a hit. 
Oh no. Left arm gunshot. Come on, Winters. Start throwing those damn things out here. Now actually switch back to your weapon, Winters. Let's go guns blazing. All right, fall back, everybody. We gotta, we gotta do something about this. This isn't working out here. All right, here we go. We are sending an animal out with his animals and go attack animals. Get them. All right, now you, you fall back, buddy. All right, we got a fire going on. There they go. All right, yes, that should distract them nicely. Let's move people back. We did lose that turret. No surprise. Beautiful. And Winters put that out. And Winters took a little hit too while he was retreating, but damn it, they're still attacking my people and not the animals. Well, one of them is. What the hell, bro? You guys are too smart for your own good. Well, you'll be... Oh, they're blowing up. That's the risk you run, but you know what? The animals will take it. That's why we have them. I'm not ashamed to say. Although, I probably should have saved the Thrumbo. Elephants go down pretty quick, don't they? <laughs> Uh, that's certainly not normal. All right, let's fall out here because we're going to have to finish off a few of these people. Let's release Silver, Aya, go, go rest, recuperate right away. Oh, Winters, what's your deal? Oh, no, he just got his left eye shot out. All right, you go rest and recuperate too, buddy. We don't need you out here. All right, look at this, Michael Jackson. Oh, can't hit him. Oh, ignore friendly fire. Just shoot away, boys and girls. Shoot away. Come on, take him out. Michael Jackson, why don't you fall back? Animal. Call back the troops there, buddy. It's not going to work. Michael Jackson's dead focused, locked in combat. It's about to get an explosion right in his face, though. I hope he survives. We have other Thrumbo. It's just, he's, he's the original. He is the original. Look at him. Walks away from that explosion like it ain't nothing. Oh, okay, we got a Centurion up, but does he have a weapon? Oh, yeah, he does. I thought he wouldn't because I shocked him, but... Oh, uh, no, the left ring finger was torn off by a different means when we were hunting the Thrumbos. <gasps> oh, thank God. I was just going to say, we need to move away from these elephants. Damn, I'm so glad. I think Axel might have... No, he was already bruised. Get him. Whew. Oh, my gosh, guys. That was a wild one. No casualties. Stuff is still exploding. We lost like six elephants. Uh, it's the price you pay. Isn't it? And you know what? The good news is our freezer will be nice and stocked. And hey, look at that. I think Winters here just helped us decide what we need to focus our next research on. And that's going to be bionics. No doubt about it. All right, well, the healing is coming along after that latest encounter. Nobody's at risk of dying anymore. We did lose a few appendages, an eyeball or two, and certainly a lot of elephants. Actually, I think we might have lost... No, 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 we got a few. They're just out grazing. Okay, I'm good to go. We've got a little bit to continue the lineage. Oh, look at Gizmo. She is not deterred. Neither her nor I got injured. Actually, I think I got a little injury, but she came back right away. And they are back at that research. Determined. Look at that. So close to nuclear power, guys. I can taste it. And I have no idea if it's advisable to taste nuclear power. But we are going to here shortly. Unfortunately, I think that'll do it for today's episode. But count on it. We're going to have that generator up and running by the next one. And like I say, the fun really starts at that point. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you'll hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you are new here. And of course, I will see you all on the next one. Hey everyone, I just want to give a personal thank you to my Patreon supporters. Their contributions help make my work possible and I am tremendously grateful to them. I'd also like to extend an invitation to you to help support my work on Patreon as well. Your donations allow me to upgrade my PC and avoid the dreaded hardware despair. It also gives me more time to devote to new projects and create longer content such as live streaming. No matter what what you decide. Thank you for visiting my channel.